Still with agriculture, Minister Honorable Ezekiel Joseph explained that it is paramount that the National Fair Trade Organization, NFTO, become self-reliant. He stated that the NFTO recently requested financial support from the government of St. Lucia to the tune of over $8 million. Minister Honorable Joseph noted that the government cannot continue with these financial bailouts. He added that a critical step in bettering the organization is the restructuring of its management. The last time the board met last year with the, with the cabinet, that is the board of the NFTO with cabinet, it was, clear, it was clearly articulated to them that for government to continue to give support to that industry, there must be some serious restructuring of the NFTO to a level that we are satisfied with. All right? um, they agreed. Um, and through the ministry, we hired a consultant and the consultant went out there and met with mostly all the farmers' branches, met with members, met with the executive, met with some of the stakeholders, and to come up with some recommendation options as to how we could restructure the NFTO. Officials from the Ministry of Agriculture have met with the NFTO to discuss the recommendations, which include the amalgamation of member organizations and a board of directors comprising of four individuals selected by the NFTO and three selected by cabinet. What was also agreed was that, I'm saying agreed between the Ministry of Agriculture and, and the NFTO, that the chairmanship of the new um, board mm -hmm. would be a member of the NFTO. Okay. All right? I want to say regret regrettably, the cabinet did not agree with that aspect. We said, the cabinet said that whilst we ag they agreed the composition of four free composition, but the chairman should be a member of the, one of the three directors that um, government is recommending to be on the board. The NFTO is expected to meet with members to make a decision on the offer presented by Cabinet.